On July 23rd, assistant coach Zach Smith was fired after a pattern of past allegations of domestic abuse surfaced. Urban Meyer said Smith's failure to tell him about a recent criminal trespassing charge and a restraining order by ex-wife Courtney Smith ultimately led to the dismissal. On August 1st, Meyer was placed on administrative leave as an independent committee investigated how he and others handled the allegations against Zach Smith. On August 22nd, Meyer and athletic director Gene Smith were suspended for failure to take sufficient management action related to Zach Smith. 39-year-old Ryan Day is now the acting head coach for the next three games, although Urban Meyer is allowed to coach the team in practice starting Monday.
with Big Ten title hopes and college football playoff hopes hanging in the balance on one play, and Pigram couldn't hit Jay Sean Jones, and Ohio State will play for the Big Ten East title in Columbus against Michigan next Saturday. It's the game, and it's the best rivalry in college football. If you grew up a Buckeye, if you grew up in the great state of Ohio, or if you are a Buckeye now, this is the real one. This is the greatest rivalry in all of sport. Not college football, all of sport. Three things. Number one, the team that hits the hardest and the longest. The team that starts the fastest. And the team is too damn smart to make mistakes. I stand before you with much respect. You're waiting for your assignment, your mission directive. Here it is. Rely on each other. Love each other as hard as you've ever played. Taking the dome, hell, there's no question who will win.
This game on this day belonged to Urban Myers, Ohio State Buckeyes as he shakes hands with Jim Harbaugh. Ohio State, the 2018 Big Ten East champions. They will head to Indianapolis for a showdown with Northwestern next week in the Big Ten title game. Presented by AT&T, the number one team is Alabama. Five years of the playoff, the Crimson Tide in for the fifth straight year. Nick Saban's team has won this college football playoff twice. At number the two, the party's hey. excited. All right. How many of those pizzas is Dexter Lawrence eating? Five times? <laughs> he gets four pies himself. He is in 42. You get four. Uh, you game held three without playing yesterday, and they oh. did. So in the first four years of the college football playoff, we had a grand total of three undefeated teams included. None of those teams ever won the national championship. Now the number four team play Alabama in the national semifinal. In one of the games on December 29th, it will be Tyler Murray and the Big 12 champion, Oklahoma Sooners. Now
five is going to be Ohio State. I think if Georgia's going to be in, they'd be at four. But now I bet Ohio State. That's oh, no. That is Georgia, telling. Oh, Georgia, oh, it's a good thing see, you're not a betting it, man. And wow. th that that to me is that that's crazy because that you is. think about that means they easily that means there was clear separation between Oklahoma and Ohio State. Clear. That means it was very clear. That, that means it was an it was a Georgia Oklahoma debate. And that means it was close to putting in a two loss team over a one loss conference champion, which means the committee seriously looked at their eyeballs and it mattered a heck of a lot. Which I have to Urban say, guys, loves the tradition and he referenced the conversations that the two of you have had about the Rose Bowl. I find it amazing that he's never been there. Yeah. And, and now he's going to bring a team uh, outside of, of the tunnel and to be able to bring him out into Pasadena and play in the Rose Bowl. When, when you, he's grew up in Ashtabula, Ohio, and, and he's been with the Ohio State program as a GA and, of course, as a, now a head coach. And there's, when you're, I know the playoffs are a big deal for everybody out there, but when you're from Ohio and you're the head coach at Ohio State and it's the first time you're taking your team into that venue with the field, the setting, San Gabriel Mountains, it'll be, he'll be hyped. He'll be very hyped. It'll be great to see. I think it's it's going your thoughts about the fact that you're going to coach in the Rose Bowl versus the college football playoff? Well, I've never been to the Rose Bowl. That's one of the few bowls that uh, never experienced. I grew up two hours from here and, uh, you know, I watched Woody Hayes and, Archie Griffin and the Buckeyes play the Southern Cal in the old Rose Bowl. So it was, uh, you know, a, a bucket list thing. And uh, Kirk Herbstreit and I actually talk about the Rose Bowl every year. And that's his favorite bowl game. So we're honored to represent, first of all, win the Big Ten back to back and then go represent our conference in the Rose Bowl. So it's all good. How do you describe this team's journey in 2018, start to finish? I think resilience. You know, I've been talking, I even sent a text out, a group text this morning, uh, resilience, toughness, and, and they love each other. You know, it's, uh, you hear that and it might sound like coach speak or because sometimes it is, you know, every team's <laughs> different and there's one way to find out what those guys have done here the last few weeks is, you know, that's going to, I'll never forget that. And I don't think Buckeye Nation will ever forget it. Back with you what on Sports you? Center AM with breaking news. This just into ESPN. Urban Meyer will retire following the Rose Bowl game for Ohio State this season. He called it a bucket list item with, uh, our own Marty Smith earlier this week saying that he'd never coached in a Rose Bowl. That will be his final game. This news just coming in to ESPN. For more.
on himself the first time. Now he goes the other way, tries for the big hop, but Johnny Dixon is there to collect it at the 49-yard line. There were 42 seconds to go. That's going to do it for Ohio State. They will win their eighth Rose Bowl, headset in the air from Urban Meyer, and he will go out a winner. be your lasting memory not only from this game but from your time at Ohio State well our, our mission when we said back and I believe it was 2011 we want to make the great state of Ohio proud we want to make this great university proud and I am so proud of our players we've had a great run and I appreciate Buckeye Nation for, for being there the whole time urban congratulations well done urban Meyer it's so easy to be average. You know it as well as I know it. And it takes a little something special to be a great player. Did you push yourself to be great today? Did you do it? If you didn't do it, you lost today. We ain't got many days to lose. We're going to push your ass like it's never been pushed. Because what you got in you, we're going to find out. Can ever find out. And if there's a touch of greatness in there, how cool would that be? Let's go with John Simon, break it down, let's go! Yeah.